all right guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to develop the real-time location tracker app in browser so i hope you will enjoy this section let's get started all right guys here i am inside the visual studio code editor i created index.html file which i uh, inside html file i added the leaflet.css and leaflet.js links and here uh, i have the id map uh, has width 100 percent and height 100 ps and i initialize the map here with the 14 is the latitude and 100 is the longitude with zoom level 6 and i added the osm layer to the map so if you look into the map then the map will look like this so after that uh, let's create the real-time location finder so for that uh, I'm going to use the HTML5 geolocation API so here uh, in the HTML5 geolocation you can find the option called navigator dot geolocation it will it has the method is ca called get current position so it will give you the current position in latitude and longitude but uh, this navigator.geolocation feature is not available for the older browser that's why i'll put the condition so it will throw the error message if it's not available so for that if it's not available then i can just pass the console log message mm, the your your does not support this geolocation feature okay something like this and if uh, else i'll pass the exact function so that means navigator dot geolocation dot get current position it will give you the coordinate in lat and long so i'll pass the callback function here so i'll name it as the get position and then i have to write this get position function here uh, below outside the else condition so maybe i'll create the function uh, get position and then uh, it will take the position argument and then if you console log the position value and then you will get the exact uh, geolocation coordinate from our geolocation app so here you can see uh, from geolocation you will get the latitude and longitude information and also uh, the there will be the accuracy uh, field and then also if your device has the altitude sensor then it will provide the altitude as well i hope yeah so so yeah in this way you can get the lat and long so i'll create the latitude field here so bar lat will be the position dot course dot latitude and then long longitude will be the position dot course dot longitude and then i'll also create the accuracy accuracy equal to position dot chords dot accuracy so if you console log here so if you console log lat long and accuracy you will get the latitude longitude and accuracy instead of getting the all the position so it will be latitude longitude and accuracy so i'll little bit format these things so uh, your coordinate is and then i'll pass the let and then i can pass let and then long longitude will be the long and then accuracy accuracy will be the accuracy so 
here you can see like this your coordinate is latitude longitude and accuracy so all right so after that uh, let's add this latitude and longitude to the map so for that i'll create the another variable called marker so our marker will be the leaflet marker so yell dot marker and then i have to pass the latitude and longitude inside here uh, and then dot add to map if i add this marker to the map then you can see the uh, marker in your particular uh, in your exact location so that means the marker will be added in this coordinate so latitude and longitude with accuracy 20 so for accuracy i'll create the circle circle will be l dot circle and then you have to provide lat and long and then you can pass the radius of circle radius will be the accuracy that means our uh, circle has the exact accuracy of uh, within this circle circle will denote the accuracy of uh, our data so yeah so here if you zoom into the map then you can see the circle that means our accuracy now is 5240 because i am inside the room and then uh, maybe due to this it's not um, working properly that's why it's too much so and the thing is i can uh, add all these marker and circles into the one uh, into into one feature group so i'll create the feature group and then yal dot feature group and then i can uh, add our marker and then circle and then i can add to map if i add this feature group to the map then you don't sorry you don't need to add individually these things so i created the feature group uh, that means both feature are represented by now feature group so let's see yeah it's still working and then i'll what i can do is i'll uh, by default the map should be zoomed into our particular region so it's not zooming out so i'll i'll set uh, uh, set this feature so for that uh, you have to you have to provide map dot fit bounds and then you have to pass feature group dot get bounds okay so it will fit automatically zoom our map to the specific feature so okay all right so for continuously uh, getting this your locations so you you can apply the set time method uh, set interval method so for now what we did is uh, we get the coordinate from our html5 geolocation and then added this uh, to the marker and circle uh, and then circle will represent the accuracy of our geolocation this api and marker will denote the uh, current location and then we zoom the map to the exact feature so it in this way you can get the your actual coordinate with the accuracy but uh, what i want to do is when we are traveling uh, the map should automatically update that means when we travel the our coordinate should automatically update in a map so for doing this you can apply the set time method here so set interval i mean set interval and then you can provide the interval for now i'll set the 5000 ms means 5 second and then you can pass this this function inside set interval function so that means the the location geolocation this function will run every 5 seconds so in every 5 seconds we will get the marker and circle position and then it will add it to the map the, uh, here you can see the result if you check here it will uh, get your coordinate and uh, accuracy uh, to the map 
and then it called after five second the problem here is it is all the marker and our circle is overlapping actually we have to remove the previous feature and then uh, add the newer one if you see here uh, it's exactly already six circle and six marker are overlapping to each other so that's not the case so for solving this issue uh, you can just initiate the variable here maybe variable marker and then circle and then what you can do is no need to define again this bar and circle and and then if marker if you have already the marker then you can map dot remove layer marker so if there is already the marker in map then you can remove the marker similarly we can do for circle so if there is already circle then you can remove the uh, layer from circle layer from map so if you do this so it will first check whether your marker is already available or circle is already available in map or not and then you it will add the marker in circle and then it will zoom to the specific feature so the result will be something like this so if you refresh this page then it will get the coordinate in five seconds so currently our latitude is 14 and longitude is 100 and our accuracy is quite huge actually so that means five kilometer radius so if i go to the outside of room and if the gnss is feasible uh, gps satellite is feasible so the accuracy will be uh, accuracy will be increases that means you will got the accuracy up to i think from laptop you can got up to five meter and then from mobile i think you will get uh, up to three meter accuracy all right here you can see i just move outside the outside my room so the accuracy uh, automatically increased to 35 meter it's also not good accuracy but in this way you can improve accuracy and if you are traveling in the road maybe uh, in the open space and the accuracy will be increased that means you will get the up to 5 meter accuracy so in this way you can implement the real time location feature uh, using this HTML5 HTML5 geolocation API. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please make sure you subscribe my channel and if you like this video, smash the like button and thanks for watching.